Hi guys, this is Andre with LighterPacks.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at the Cumulus 250 quilt. I've been using the Cumulus 250 quilt for about four and a half years now, and I'm very happy with this product. So if you're in the market of buying a new quilt, you should definitely look into the Cumulus quilt. Basically, this is why I think it's a good product. So first and foremost, it's a very lightweight product. It weighs in at only 490 grams. Also, the outer material is made out of Pertex. So it gives you somewhat of a water resistant outer shell. It's in no way very water resistant, but it will hold off some of that condensation that can accumulate in your tent overnight. However, you should always take care of your damp products because if they get damp or wet, they will lose some of their insulation values. So talking about insulation values, this one is made out of 850 fill power by Polish Goose Down. That's high premium down from Europe. So whenever I'm in the market of a new product, I have an acronym that I want to use. No matter if I'm looking for a new quilt, a new backpack, a new jacket or whatever it might be, I use PWDEF, meaning that price, weight, durability, and environmental friendly. So if you're looking to the well-known brand, you tend to pay a little bit more than you would like a smaller company. Weight-wise, I do believe that, especially if you're watching this, you're very much into ultralight backpacking or you're trying to get into that scene. And we have durability. If you're gonna buy something that's a little bit pricier, you should definitely want something that lasts you many, many years. That also comes down to the event environmental friendly fact. So especially if you're looking for a quilt, you have goose downs, you have the Pertex, there's a lot of materials in there which can be harmful to the environment. And especially we who are hikers, we want to go out and enjoy nature and not enjoy for the next couple of two weeks, but for many, many years from now. So that is why I do believe that's a factor to take in when you're buying stuff. So especially then price tag, the Cumulus quilt retails for about 195 euros. And I think that is fairly on the cheap side compared to other brands like CPACs and Western Mountaineering, and which usually are other brands that you tend to be looking at if you're in the market for a new quilt. Yeah, it's a very lightweight quilt. It weighs in at 490 grams. So it's not too heavy, not the lightest one on the market. So for the amount of insulation you have, you have four Celsius comfort, you have a zero limit. And I would say that's usually what gets you through a three season type of environment. So I have been using this quilt in Sweden, Iceland, Scotland, and a few other places. And it's been working really well for me. Sure, at times, four degrees isn't all that warm. But then again, if you look at your sleeping system, a part of your clothing system, you can go pretty low before you start to freeze at all. So for me, yes, I have a, have had very few cold nights where I've been shivering my bag and kind of like, you know, wondering what I'm doing out here. But on the other side of the spectrum too, I've been having very warm nights as well. Meaning that, well, for the most part, it's good enough for your average backpacking trip. Yeah, so talking about durability, uh, like I said, I had this quilt for about four and a half years and I washed it several times and it's always come out on top. It doesn't lose too much down. If you compare it to, say, your Patagonia or a Marmot sleeping bag, yeah, sure, they will hold it down a little bit more. The seams are a little bit tighter. Leak some down, but it's not like you have a fight with a goose during the night. I do think the environmental impact is very important here, especially talking about down. You're plucking live animals if you're especially going for the China stuff, while the EU is more controlled environment. And yes, uh, there are some nasty business going on there too, but it's generally better than having the animals suffer too much. So feature-wise, the only thing that I really miss in this quilt is that I would like to have a small zipper up top in the chest height and that is for putting your mobile phone during the night, especially if it's really cold night, that would save your battery time a lot. I used to have that on my marmot bags and it's something that I might put in myself just to fix the little gap where I'm actually missing a, a feature. Otherwise you have the usual stuff. You have the retaining bands going around the back that attaches to your sleeping mat or sleeping mattress. You also have a clip that comes around your neck to make sure they're nice and toasty. And that's also one of the parts when you're picking out your quilt, make sure that it's long enough for you to come above your shoulders. If you run short and your neck will be exposed, you will have a really cold night. The quilt comes with a storage bag, which is really good. Really roomy, make sure that your sleeping bag is very lofty and that way you're not compressing any on the down. It also comes with a perfect stuff sack. It's kind of hard to get your quilt in there, it's tight fit. And that also means it compresses your down quite hard. 
Sure, it takes up small space in your backpack, but that is to the cost of having a compressed down bag during the whole day. That is why I opted for a Cuban fiber stuff sack instead. Didn't want to bring a roll top bag because I still want an opening there at the end so some of the moisture can escape in the bag if it gets really hot. I do find that if you have a roll top bag, all the moisture and everything is kind of locked in there and it doesn't really help if you have some condensation in your bag in the morning or, and or if it got wet for whatever reason. The Pertex material is quite easy to dry out so it doesn't take too long in the sun to make your bag coming from a little bit of damp going to very dry. I've actually never had my bag like soaking wet other than when I've actually been cleaning it. So I can't really say how long that would take if you were to dive in with your bag. So if you're in the market for a new quilt, you should definitely go and have a look at the Cumulus Quilt 250. I've had mine for four and a half years. I'm very, very happy with it. They used to recently released an updated version of theirs, which is a little bit different from the one that I have, but basically the same from what I can see. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments and questions, please drop them below or head over to lighterpacks.com where you can read my initial review of the Cumulus 250 quilt. See you next time.